Fish It Freaks, welcome back to the channel. Got something interesting for you here today. Me and Pops are back here out on the water in old, at Old Comandero. It's kind of midday, we just pushed back here in this creek. And I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna take a couple of hours here and try to complete a slam, MTB slam. You guys know about Mystery Taco Box. They've been helping us out on this channel for a while now. If you want to get $10 off your first box, link down in the description. You can go ahead and do that and get rolling with it. Uh, and we got the February box right now. So I figured since I'm down in Mexico, I'd take it at some point, I'd do a challenge. We are at that point. I don't know how many lures we got in here, but I'm gonna say, I think we're gonna do two fish for each lure on this slam. And then we're gonna do two hours. Dad's hooked up <laughs> right away. <laughs> you're trying to sabotage my, you're trying to sabotage my slam, dude. That's right, I'm trying to get the, uh... That's all right. Catch them all before you get to them. Now I already know there's a bunch of small male bass in this creek pushing up. Females are out a little bit deeper, but I thought, you know what? Let's try to get up there close to the bank and just see how if we can catch a lot of those buck bass in two hours. So that's a good challenge. Let's get to it. All right, first lure we're gonna start out with, one that's always good, basically pre-spawn, through spawn, is a jerkbait. This is a Berkeley Cutter. This is the 110 right here. So actually what we've got going on here, I've seen some shad. We've got trees in here I'm gonna have to avoid, but I I think we'll be able to get it get it done right here. I've had some bites on a on like weightless jerk baits, like the plastic versions. The hard version should get it done too. A lot of structure in here. This is gonna be a big challenge trying to trying to get a fish on all these baits and get them through here. Plus a lot of these are designed to fish. Oh gosh, I mean right away, right away. First freaking cast, boom. Now we can handle fish that size. If we get, a, if we get one that's pretty big, we're gonna be in trouble. Because, I mean, I'm fishing this on 20 pound test. I wouldn't normally fish this on 20 pound test. I'd normally fish it on like 12. When a big one hits it and goes down in those bushes, like pretty much what you see on the banks, what we got under the water. So it's gonna make this one a pretty good challenge. Oh man, right on the bank. Like, well bam, oh my gosh, that's a tilapia. What? I don't know if we should count this one. Maybe. Tilapia. See, si. oh, bonita. Yeah, we'll just keep that at one. I'm not gonna, not gonna throw the tilapia into the mix this quick. These fish are like spawn, pre-spawn, post-spawn. Everything is going on right now, so this is a great time to be fishing. Jerk baits are also, also pretty effective on spawning fish. They'll come up. Top water and jerk baits can be effective on them if they got clear enough water. All right, we've encountered our first snag. Second fish, little guy, doesn't matter though, we'll take him. Okay, time to switch it up. 10 minutes in right now. Let's see if we can get it done. Hmm, man, feeling like this is gonna be really good. Texas rig is gonna be really good. I'm probably gonna Texas rig the exo stick and this. Um, this is gonna be the biggest challenge right here. All right, we're gonna Texas rig this. Got a five out hook in here. Right over to the tail. We're gonna drop that down. This bait changes colors. Look at that, just changed colors. Mm -hmm. Crazy. <sighs> Just had a bite. Ooh. Fish came back and got it. Got him. Over the limb. Bonus points. Yes. Okay, there's one. We need a little wind. The bite is, is tough right now because we don't have any wind. So I'm really having to make some good casts here. I'm not sure what they think this is. They're probably like, why? Why are there goobies in here? Number two, batteries are down on the GoPro, so I got to change them out. But that one's done. 
sport bait, color changing. You see it's chartreuse right there. It's red and purple right there. Okay, we're gonna take that Biospawn Exo Stick. Should be a phenomenal bait for right now. We're gonna put that on, but since the water's so clear, we're gonna call an audible right here. Put a little chartreuse on the tail. Same, got a, I think that's a uh, half ounce weight there. I'm gonna give it a good healthy dip there. We're back in the game. Time check is now 105. So we're just past 30 minutes into the competition. Need two fish on this thing. Quick. Goal is to get this thing done less than two hours. This is kind of like middle of the day. It's pretty, pretty tough. Um, typically the bite's tough during the middle of the day but why not, why not add to the challenge, baby? Oh, there's a bite. Got it. Oh, yeah. Tiny. That was quick. Oh, there's another one. It's got it. All right, yes. Oh, dang it, didn't land him. Freaking exo stick, just it's perfect for right now. It's a stick bait. Stick baits are just amazing this time of year. Oh, got it. Yes, come here, get in the boat. Get in the boat. Yeah. All right, exo stick is done. Knew those, those two were gonna be pretty easy. Three down, take those out. We got the fin rig, we got the swim jig, and we got this. It's pretty much it, That's pretty much all we got. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the jig, with the swim jig. I'm gonna cut the skirt down, put a little customization here. Really cut that skirt down so it'll move a little quicker. Go take this craw right here, match the chartreuse in the skirt. I'm gonna rig that tail down. Let's see here. There we go, right there. I think that'll do it. Oh, there he is. Oh, gosh, I freaking pounded it, too. Dang, I've had some shad come through here in this pocket. I've seen them get busted, so it's a pretty good thing to throw right on the bank. Yeah, dang it. Came off. Took my. Tore me up. Little taco? Taco. Taco. Necesito taco, por favor. Uh, this is going to cut into my time, but it's absolutely crucial. I think I'm going to take a five minute little break here, just get refueled. I'm getting, getting low on blood sugar, energy, and I'm not fishing my bait effective enough. Ah, uh, muchas gracias. Okay. Mmm. Gotta go out there. I'm not even sure what's in this thing, but yeah, it's gonna give me the fuel I need. Pops, you better fuel up too. I think I will. It is dead calm. Bite sucks right now. I've had one come up on that little Zorro swim jig, bit my tail off. There's these little minnows swimming around here. And that's where these little bass are eating. They're eating the little minnows like right on the shoreline. Every once in a while when they screw up, they swim right by the shoreline. Boom! They get popped. So that's what I'm trying to imitate there with that swim jig. So we gotta catch two on the Zorro jig. Then we gotta go to that little Ned rig thing. That's gonna be the biggest challenge, I think. And then we got a lipless in there as well. We got a lot of work to do. Let's get to it. Okay, fueled up with lunch. Spot looks pretty good. Just gotta make a precise cast. Yes, yes, all right, get out of the net. Oh yes, avoided the net, landed. There's one baby, one on the swim jig, and I was actually swimming it. Oh, 
There's one. Come on, get out of the tree. Yes. Yes. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right. They're just eating those little minnows right on the bank. Got them. Got them, got them, got them. Okay, that one's done. We're going to move on since we got a little wind right here. We're going to move on to this bad boy. Hooked up. Got yourself one. Oh, yeah. There you go. LFT's hooked up. I got my lure back. Okay. Let's get the game. Get it done. There's the fish. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Trip. Oh, gosh. Came off. Oh, got it right there on the bank. Come on. Come on. Don't go. Just don't do it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I freaking inhaled that. Look at that. Oh, good. Okay, it should have been number two, but I lost the other one, so still trucking. Still trucking. Oh, right behind us. This is a typical little crankbait spot right here, a little flat. Some wind blowing on it in the middle of the creek. This is actually how I love to fish them in the fall. There he is. Got him on the flat. Come on. Just don't do it. Just don't come off. Let's come up. One, one more jump. Oh my gosh, it's so close. Too close for comfort here. Yeah. Okay, this lure's done. The carrot is done. I'm gonna throw one more cast just because I feel good about it right here. The last one. Now, this is going to be the biggest challenge of the day. I saved it for last. We have got windy conditions now, of course. It was like dead calm before, which I wanted for this. But this is essentially a very small jig head with these little leechy looking things. I know they're gonna eat this right on the rocks. It's just, you don't really necessarily think 20 pound test when you're gonna throw one of these. You're thinking like six, eight, finesse type fishing. I don't have that down here in Mexico, but these fish are starting to bite a little bit better. I just gotta, this is gonna be more angling rather than, you know, the fish actually wanting to eat this. I know that they'll eat this. We have got, I think it's about 30 minutes left to complete my goal for the day of catching every, uh, two on everything under two hours so we're approaching that i think we're gonna get it done though folks that is just that's ridiculous let's put it on let's get it done here's the move i'm gonna go right on this rocky edge where there's a minimal amount of trees i'm going to attempt to get this thing right on the rocks Put our jacket on our GoPro because it's windy. I'm gonna reduce this noise for you guys. Go for a jacket. Okay, that should be better. Time check. Oh my gosh, we have 15 minutes. This is when you start thinking about those lunch breaks. Oh my god, this is so hard. I got a cast over here. Had one. How does he not eat the hook? Are you kidding me? There he is. Got him. One fish. One fish. Landed. Okay. Uno Mas. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Got him. 
Right on the bank. Last one, baby. Get in the boat. Get in the boat! Yes! Right into my bag. Got it done. Yes! Mmm! Let's do a time check right now. 218, 12 minutes to spare. Booyah! Yes! Finito! Ladies and gentlemen, we've just completed the two hour Mexican edition MTB Slan for the February box. Man, I didn't think I was gonna be able to get it done on that last one. It was, it was getting kind of down to the wire. 20 pound test on that little thing, are you kidding me? I had to really take my drag down and it was super hard to cast. We got wind now. We didn't catch any mondos back here. I knew there was gonna be a lot of small fish around the bank, but just key you guys in on a pattern and what's, what's coming because this is ahead of the game down here in Mexico. These fish are, some are moving up to spawn, some are done spawning. We're approaching a full moon. So these fish are going to be, the small buck bass are gonna be moving on the bank. And during this time of day, midday, they'll start to get up on the bank. In the afternoons, usually when the water warms up more, they'll just flood the banks. The females are always farther behind. They're always in that deeper water. But I thought it'd be fun to get it done out here with the February box. So I want to give another thanks to MTB for, uh, for being a part of this channel for a long time now. Appreciate my homies over there at Mystery Taco Box. And if you guys want to go check them out, subscribe to their YouTube channel. Plus you get $10 off your first box subscription uh, if you use the code down in the description. Did that, did that just rhyme? I think it did. Wow. Alrighty, fishing freaks, make sure to subscribe right here to my channel. And me and dad are going to get back after it, so stay tuned for more action. And we'll catch you on the next one. Adios.